Good evening. I'm doing some simple topics. Um, you know, that could be useful at uh, middle school, high school, or even college level. A lot of people don't get the idea of them all. Chemists, people who study in chemistry. And I'm going to do it again, because I didn't do it very well in lecture number two of the ideal gas law. I said I made a kind of a vague statement, and it, it could have thrown people. And I still haven't figured out how to edit these yet. So I'm going to do them all again. This time you've got to have it. You know, if you have it, then you have it under control forever. All right. There are lots of ways to approach it. I'm approaching it from the way I did it the last time, and that was through the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law says that Pb over T is Nr, where R is the universal gas constant, and we measure all of these quantities as follows. Pascals, pressure, newtons per square meter. Temperature, Kelvin. And volume, cubic meters. We're happy. We don't start confusing ourselves by going to liters and figuring out. You can do it if you want to, but we'll stick with simple units. By the way, I'm going to generalize all of these units at some point. Okay, so this is going to be a very short presentation. Um, N is the number of moles. So what is a mole? Mole is the following. the number of atoms to make one gram, one gram of atomic hydrogen, atomic weight one. Now it's a pity they defined it in terms of being a gram, I would have much preferred being a kilogram. All right, it would be a difference, Only the, I'll tell you in a minute what that would be. to make two grams of molecular hydrogen, okay? The number of atoms Write the atomic weight up here and the atomic uh, number down here. Really, this is the mass number. It's the rounded off atomic weight. I round off the decimals. Okay, sixteen grams. The number of molecules to make thirty-two grams.
the number of grams to make 32 grams of molecular oxygen. Yeah? We started off this with 1, 2, 16, 32. This is the basic unit. All right? Let's do water. in a different way, just to word it differently. Let's look at all the nucleons in here. Two hydrogens of atomic weight one will be two. Two what? Two atomic mass units, but I'm not putting that down. One oxygen atom, atomic weight 16. Did I get that right over there? Yeah. Now, we convert this to the ground molecular weight. It's 18 grams for H2O. question. How many grams in one mole of H2O? The answer is 18 grams. Let's do CO2. How many grams? Same question. In one mole of CO2. We have one atom of carbon. Atomic weight 12, atomic number 6, two atoms of oxygen, atomic weight 16 each, atomic number 8. The answer, one mole of CO2 has a weight of 44 grams. Now you should have gotten a picture by now. Now the question is, what about this number? How can we derive it? We cannot. How many atoms make one gram of atomic hydrogen or 18 grams of H2O? That is one mole of either. See, these are all moles. The answer for every question here has been a mole. Well, that number was postulated of importance by Lorenzo Avogadro, 1776 to 1856. And it is 6.0 Zero 0.02 by 10 to the power of 23 particles per mole. That's 6.02. It's that many, okay? We don't like to be writing all these things down. This is a much neater way to write a big long number like that.
So therefore, we can say a mole of anything. This is 6.02 by 10 to the power of 23 bicycles, right? Mole of anything. Well, what can we do with that? We can do many things. Many moles of water. Um, and 36 kilograms of water. Okay? Answer is 18 into 36. 36 divided by 18, that's one mole. So that number of, oh, actually, I made a mistake. So 36,000 divided by 18 is 2,000 moles. So we call this A. How many molecules is this? We have 2,000 moles. Three molecules per mole. Okay, so when we do these exponents, we'll do the numbers and the exponents always separately. Separately, two times this is 12.04. Multiplying with exponents, you add add the exponent. 23 and 23 three is 26. So there are that many molecules. Part C. How many atoms? Each molecule has three atoms, and we have this many molecules.
So this constitutes 36.12 by 10 to the power 26 atoms. Okay? I let you digest that. Have you got them all now? You should have them all. You should have it, right? <clears throat> Let's do another question. Gas is at a temperature of 300 K. Um, I don't know what kind of pressure I'm up on that. I'll skip this one because I actually forget what that kind of pressure is. I shouldn't, but I do. Okay. Actually, I'll leave it at that until the, for the next step. I think I've covered enough. I only get 20 minutes, 28 minutes for each session. That session.